That took probably about an hour. All sit, well, no, probably more like two hours. That small gap is all that remains of what was, what's that? What's that? Is that light? No, it's just spray foam, okay. So this whole door used to be just an absolute nightmare of um, gaping hole, basically. And that's now been sealed. So there isn't so much to see here. Uh, what I spent the day doing was, well, not the day, but the last couple of hours, scraping off the mortar that had, or thin set, sorry, that had gotten on top of the tiles. I uh, was in a real rush uh, when I was wrapping this up, so I kind of ran away. Um, and then I got freaked out because the last time I did this, I did it with the, um, I don't know what they call it, the pre-mixed uh, thin set. And... I, I, as you may remember from earlier videos, uh, three weeks later, the stuff was still wet. And I realized that that may have been why it was so easy to clean the stuff off the tiles in the bathroom. So I was a little trepidatious when I arrived and started scraping, but uh, it, really there was no difference. So um, I, I was quite happy about that. The thin set just, even the bigger globs just kind of scraped right off. No problem. So very happy. Used kitchen. So I don't love it. Uh, I don't actually intend to keep it, but it was dirt cheap. And as long as I can install it and get inspected, um, that's all I really care about. And I will uh, build the kitchen that I want afterwards, uh, probably out of um, plywood, but nice, nicer stuff like maple plywood. Some of these cabinets need to be fixed up. So uh, I'm in the basement right now. I've already cut up some replacement um i've got half inch ply right now so i'm just going to be uh, laminating a couple of pieces of that so that i can replace that the new cross brace is glued up just clamped and waiting obviously to dry here with the plug obviously this is where i intend to put the stove now the vent will be going up here so i'm going to have to build another bulkhead along here to accommodate the vent run to the outside. I had a bulkhead up here. I've taken it down so that it's out of the way. The peach trap under the shower should not be any kind of an obstacle. So we'll build a new bulkhead that will accommodate this and the vent. And then probably the entire bulkhead will be hidden by the upper kitchen cabinets. I can't remember if I covered this or not, but basically all of the drywallers have said that they need heat in the place in order to uh, promote the drying of the drywall mud. So this gap here, I, I, there's a 50 amp or 30 amp, sorry, 30 amp electrical uh, supply going out to the uh, backyard where I'm storing uh, tools and stuff. Um, anyway, they, obviously lots of air was getting through. So I've sealed up that window temporarily um, and I have turned on all of the heat in the house so obviously for the first half hour it absolutely reeked in here I 